<laughs> Found another low mileage rare car here. So here are the so called sporty seats. Hi guys and welcome back to another video back on a Driven 24-7 automotive YouTube channel under these sunny glasses. My name is Amber if you didn't know that already. It is a lovely sunny Sunday morning. Couple of tongue twisters in there for you. Luckily I managed to say it all. Today I'm here to show you the second car I bought as promised. So I already bought the Honda Accord. That was the kind of car that I wanted. It was a kind of planned buy etc. So after I had the Honda I then knew Okay, maybe I could have three cars on the road in Nissan when it's working, the Mercedes and the Honda. I've never had three cars on the road at once, I don't think, maybe I have, but I thought that could be doable. Then, the car I'm going to show you today, come up for sale, I had to have it, it's rare, I didn't know these things existed. It's kind of modern, going by the cars that I've had lately. Let's just cut to the chase, as I now say, none of this keeping you waiting and stuff, as I said in the last Honda Accord video. Here's the second car I've bought recently, and let's show you around it. Let's go. Can you guess what it is yet? So this is a 2002 52 plate Toyota Avensis, but this isn't any old Toyota Avensis. This has got a 2 litre VVTi engine, which makes this Toyota Avensis quite a rare SR model. I've gone and bought myself a bargain, sporty Toyota Avensis. So I wasn't looking for another car, so you know, I just bought the Accord and I was figuring out I'm going to have to have three cars on the road at once. Then I saw this little beauty come up on Facebook Marketplace. Now we've all heard of the latest GR Yaris's, the GR Supra's, Toyota's latest sporty cars, right? Obviously I've heard of the Toyota Avensis, yeah, I've just assumed it's just a boring Toyota. But when I saw the SR badge, obviously I did some research. So this, like I said, has got a 2 litre VVTi petrol engine in, and this produces a whopping 150 horsepower. And it does feel fast, it really handles well. Because this is an SR Avensis, it has got, I believe, different suspension. This car just looks so cool. And when I saw it advertised at a bargain price, I had to go straight from work, not that I needed a fourth car, to go and have a look. And yeah, obviously I bought it. Now, like I said, this was at a bargain price. I'm not going to tell you which that is. So I found another low mileage. This has got 72,000 miles on the clock. I found another low mileage rare car here. And I believe on that How Many's Left website that I tend to use quite often when buying these rare cars now, 83 or 93 left so basically it's under 100 of these cars left like i said i didn't even know these were a thing until i googled it and i thought wow these cars actually exist the little story behind buying this one is a grandson was selling it on behalf of his granddad who has given up driving i believe the guy just put it up for cheap and although i wanted to go in and make an offer and all that stuff the guy who was selling it had only been advertised for half an hour so obviously he's thinking god someone's going to buy my car in half an hour and he's not going to haggle on the price which is fair enough this car comes with 12 months MOT, it's got new brakes on it, some new tyres, so it doesn't need anything doing to it. Unlike the Accord, the Accord's a cheaper car than this, the Accord needs a few bits doing to it. Ready to go, and here it is today, and I'm enjoying it already. So, as always, in these car reveal videos, you know what's coming now, walk around time. Now, this car is obviously in black. I'm not a fan of black cars, but I do believe I wouldn't have this car in any other colour, because I just like it in black. It just, it just has to be black. And I think I'm right in saying the last black car I owned was my Abarth 595 Turismo, which was more of a metallic black. I think this is more of a solid black. This this car hasn't been cleaned for this video this is pretty much as i've bought it apart from we have some now added sahara desert sand whatever you want to call it so on the side each side we have the two litre vvti badges now look at these alloys when i saw the photos of this advert of the car for sale i thought someone stuck aftermarket alloys but no they've actually got sr center caps so these are genuine sr alloy wheels in a metallic they look really smart actually couple of little curbs marks on there and we've got falcon tires i believe all around on this car we're probably having a better look at it together guys for the first time to be honest these wheels are in size 16 so yeah those wheels like i said i really thought they were aftermarket but it's just a completely standard aventus sr wheel we've got the black body colored mirrors um body colored plastics just going on to the rear again those wheels are just so, so cool. It's also just worth pointing out, this is actually a Mark I Aventis. So I think this is probably the latest Mark I on this year, plate 52 2002. The Mark I headlights, which I prefer. And then as we go around onto the driver's side, again, there's not really, there's a little mark on the bumper, but I actually thought the alloys were actually in worse condition than I've actually thought, just because I haven't really taken a proper look around this car, to be honest. So on the back is just where we're talking. So we have a little spoiler. Again, we have the Mark I rear lights. The Mark IIs were just much bigger and uglier, in my opinion. 
and there we have it there see i wasn't lying Aventis sr oh the back of this is so cool we've even got like a little stainless steel i guess standard exhaust hanging out there but yeah the back is just so nice i really like like i say the rear lights on this particular model i am being biased but yeah i just love the look of this mark one Aventis. goodyear tire so maybe we've got three falcons one goodyear don't know but anyway good tires on the car all round so just start with the passenger side first and as we hop into the car together guys how cute we have actually got a uh, driver's uh, airbag and we have got a uh, airbag there so in here this is literally as i found a car so we've got the lock and wheel nuts but in here the grandson was telling me this is actually a toyota it says it on there toyota official camera i thought no way toyota have included a camera with this car so you can you know appreciate your car take photos and send them off to toyota that's what i was thinking but it says that accident assist so this camera is actually for accidents if you have an accident in this car you quickly whip out this little camera take a photo and send off the evidence but i thought it was like to take photos of your car like to show off to show to toyota how much you love your car but it's not for those reasons unfortunately let's hop into the driver's seat now so inside the events is sr now toyota are saying this is a really nice sporty interior it's not <laughs> apart from the gray um center dashboard bit we have here and either side on the passenger um around the air vents that's the only what i s consider sporty styling in this all electric windows uh front and back auto opening uh, up and down i presume assume assume in the driver's side here yeah it's, it's not really that sporty we've got a down here across the old we need to sort this gator out and gear knob we've got a five-speed manual obviously in this car wouldn't have it any other way this car has got aircon i haven't tried it I'm not a big user of aircon but was told it works also got a cd player here which is quite rare nowadays and then we've got the toyota just bog standard radio now i would like to fit an aftermarket radio in here i think martin's actually watched some videos martin's here with me now that you can get this out it looks a bit tricky but maybe we'll think about that another day so we've got electric adjusting mirrors they all seem to work like i said all electric windows work everything works in this car as far as i'm aware and so far so good we've got the uh, wipers here with different intermittent function which i quite like we've got all your lights here the seventy-two thousand miles there the bloke actually advertised it was 78,000 miles and when we both went to drive it together on my test drive he was quite surprised that it's actually got 72 so he said he should have advertised it for more apparently but whatever 78 72 i'm happy with that so we have a leather steering wheel again nothing really sporty about this but we have got uh, just some radio controls here the volume uh, the flick in between stations i believe storage wise we've got a little cubby hole here i've been put my phone in we've got nothing there for thought there's not an ashtray no, it's not. That's nothing. Um, in the middle here, we've got a couple of little coin holders, little drinks holders here, and we have a nice centre um, console, I'm trying to say. Uh, leather handbrake as well. So, yeah, I wouldn't really... The seats are definitely not sporty. I'll show you the seats a bit more in detail, but the only thing I'll get the sporty vibes from is the silverness um, inserts in the car. <laughs> uh, even the headlining isn't black or anything. Sporty cars usually have black headlining. Um something missing here i've got that uh yeah i don't quite know where they got the sporty word from describing this interior basically that button's traction control and we've got another little cubby hole here so here are the so-called sporty seats um yeah i'm not sure about that so driver's side we've got a lot of adjustments so we've got up and down like reclines and then we've got forward and back i've got it as far forward because i've only got little legs guys you can know that by now into the back now again these probably seats have never been sat in before this is quite cool so we ha i really like this actually it's an obviously an armrest for the back Ta -da! i like that a lot so yeah not really sporty seats but it's all right it's all in good nick so can't complain good nick yeah they're exceptional come on right yeah they are exceptional to be fair <laughs> The car come with these stickers we've got one on the back here one on the front but yeah i just wanted to leave these little quirky things on you just to show you that like a careful old boy owned this this is going quite crusty i want to obviously get these off as soon as i possibly can just wanted to keep them on here to show you it's just quite cute in a sort of weird way just yeah it's gonna have to try and peel this off and it's gonna go all over the interior no doubt about that space now is absolutely massive and i believe <laughs> got a spare alloy wheel and tyre in there martin i think we checked this there's a jack there as well oh it's going a bit mouldy look 
Oh, we need to sort that out, don't we? Nice. What is that, actually? Tyre. I don't know. Can you see? Dunlop. Dunlop. But yeah, so we've got five alloy wheels. And the boot is mahusive. Have you done, Martin? Classic little Japanese hook on that rubber. There we go. Look at that. I suppose it's a nice moldy. Get what you pay for. Moldy uh, tyre. Here's a little engine bay shot for you. So there we have the D4 VVTI. Not as clean engine bay as the Accord I've recently purchased, but you know, it's just an engine. It is what it is at the end of the day. But that lump is producing 150 horsepowers, or unless you've lost a few over the years, probably. So that's it for this video. Let me know if you've ever seen or heard of a Toyota Avensis SR. I certainly didn't until obviously I saw this thing and bought this thing. Martin, what was the space between buying a Honda and this car? Four, five days wasn't it so i literally bought two cars in the space of around about four or five days and i plan to keep the honda and the toyota but that means i would then with the nissan and mercedes have four cars on the road unfortunately i can't keep more as they say as much as i'd love to i'm not that big and earning that much money from youtube yet so unfortunately one's got to go so the next upload will be me telling to you what car unfortunately has got to go. I need to now claw back the money for the two cars that I've now bought to replace said one car. Keep your eyes peeled for my next upload because I'll be telling you unfortunately which car has got to go. So thank you for watching this video and here is, as promised, the second car reveal. The second car I've bought lately. The Honda Accord I bought first, then I had to buy this rare Avensis SR. The plan of the Accord is you know maybe to tinker with it when i claw back some money from one of the sales of my other cars as i just said this one i want to keep standard i don't want to mess with any of the like i say sporty suspension this car has come with from the factory this will be staying as it is if anything i might just do a couple of little cheapo jobs just to keep it original the honda accord is probably going to be more of my tinkering modified car but let's wait and see there we have it i currently own four cars unfortunately one's got to go i've picked up another quirky car rare car sporty car I haven't had a sporty car for a while so i'm pretty pleased about this purchase i'll see you in another video more videos to follow soon on the events bye <laughs>